Hey everyone, this is the third section of the Crash Web Tech course. We are going to review the basics of the static and dynamic web pages and how to create a website. Keep in mind that this is not a complete course, this is a Crash Web course, which means that we are just going to cover the very high level architectures and just the very basic aspects of building websites. So uh, you still need to actually grab a book or watch another more complete video tutorial for more advanced concepts but for starters we are going to see how does HTML work we are going to review several steps of uh, CSS also start with PHP and install our basic WordPress websites with some minor changes over there so let's say that we have a crash web tech course folder that we've created here on my desktop so uh, in order for us to start we'll need to create an HTML file HTML is an abbreviation for hypertext markup language and it's been invaded uh, at the early 90s and HTML is the well-known st standard for creating web uh, pages it's a uh, text based format with uh, using tags so you you're going to need the angular brackets to uh, form its design and you're going to create a sample test document now for starters so I'm using Linux for our training but you can use any sort of operating system as you don't need uh, any specific tools just a very basic uh, text and text editor and file manager for this so in our folder I'm going to create an empty document that I'm going to name as test.html and I'm going to open it with my uh, text editor which might be um, notepad or notepad plus plus for you or some ID if you want to be uh, more advanced so uh, in order to start we are need to set the doc type HTML at uh, the beginning no worries you don't need to like remember that you can find it uh, pretty much everywhere this is the standard for the HTML5 files but we are going to cover the very basic tags for beginners as we said uh, HTML is composed from tags and a tag is a structural uh, entity for the language which is uh, some string literal that's surrounded with angular brackets the root element of every single HTML document is HTML and it looks like this we have an opening tag that has an open, opening uh, angular bracket the HTML which is uh, currently for our core tag and the closing angular uh, bracket Every single opening element has its own corresponding closing element with some uh, small exceptions. So our opening HTML tag needs to have a closing HTML tag as well. A closing tag looks exactly as the opening tag, but in addition to the opening angular bracket, we also have a slash sign, which means HTML. And now this is our HTML document. In addition to that, we have two main concepts of uh, data that are uh, stored in an HTML document and uh, in other words every single HTML document is broken into two main entities the head which is the heading section and the body which is the actual section with the real content for our HTML document we can create the head document here with again an opening head tag and a closing head tag and uh, we can also create the uh, body element here the best practice for uh, development is actually indenting every single element which is inside of another element. As you can see, both heady, uh, head and body are placed inside of the HTML tags, so it makes sense for the data inside to be uh, in. Now, the head tag is usually used for some meta information, which means that the actual content of the document is not stored there, so we are not going to use it for now. However, the body tag is used for representing the actual content, so we are going to provide some snippets inside. Let's just uh, type in some text, which is going to be, hello, I'm a test page. I'm going to save my document, get back here and open it in my favorite uh, browser. I'm double clicking to the document and we're going to see the hello I'm a test page if you're using say a Windows it's uh, probably going to be something like C column slash uh, documents or users or whatever slash your uh, test.html document the path right now doesn't matter uh, as we say that it 
is going to be different depending on your uh, operating system. What matters here is that you have that content which is the content that you provided in your HTML document. You didn't have to change anything, you just had to uh, type it down here uh, within your body type. This is all for now, in the next section we are going to see some styling of the HTML documents, so stay tuned for more.